was at Pima Carpo one day in Greenwood in Washington State and Rigson was drinking drinking and drinking all his tea and I said Riggs and you're gonna run out of tea and he said no I'm gonna go get my fucking war axe and we're gonna go down the street and tell those people not to bully you anymore I said Riggs and what are you talking about he said let's go kill those fucking bullies I said Riggs and you're gonna get in trouble you're not supposed to say that kind of stuff he said let's go kill those fucking bullies I got a war axe Let's go kill those fucking bullies. Let's go kill those fucking bullies with his Tibetan war axe. And I said, Riggs, we don't need your fucking Tibetan war axe, you know. We can just drink some more tea. And he said, no. And then he started talking about an Iron King. And I said, what's an Iron King? And he said, well, they would first have to take the Iron King by the arms and legs and shackle the Iron King to the Iron King's chair. Every day Iron King walked around, he said. With shackles and would do what a monk does every day with shackles until the Iron King sat in a chair. His Holiness, the 12th Dalai Lama, would prepare for the Iron King. Locking the Iron King to his chair to protect those who would meditate with the Iron King. Similar to practicing compassion in Washington State. His Holiness the 12th Dalai Lama would look at the Iron King similar to the man who looks at me smoking his cigarette ready to fight me, kill me and murder me because I didn't buy his drugs and sex trafficking the cartel offers me on Aurora. And when I say these words aloud, four other of them, four more of them, and four thousand more of their buddies arrive in silence. Shortly after the Iron King would finish meditation, all the practitioners would stand up and bow. The Iron King unshackled, laughing, eating yak. In Tibet before China invaded and Riggsen had to tell me the story over here in the United States of America and not in one China. But they're still confused about recording videos similar to South America and Latin America and Mexico. Baffled. So many words could be spoken and have nothing to do with their love familia.